Hello everyone, this is Glenda and welcome back to Creative Grandma. I had a special request to make a crocheted heart. So I made one and this is a small heart and a medium heart. And the small heart is only two rounds around and the medium heart you do an extra round for three rounds. The small heart measures about three inches wide and about two and three quarters high up to the tip of this point. Now the large heart measures roughly four and a quarter. Well, let's go to the widest part. Yes, four and a quarter. And then when you measure the height, the highest point is four inches. Oh, you can't see it in that picture. So the highest point is four inches. So this is the little heart. Now these are made out of Super Saver number four medium weight yarn. And I used a size I9 5.5 millimeter hook. Now you can use whatever yarn you want and whatever hook size you want. Just use the recommended hook size that's on the label of the yarn that you use. Now these are excellent for just the big ones are nice for coasters. The little ones are nice for embroidering and appliquing onto baby afghans or your little sweaters or anything you want to applique them onto. So to get started today, I'm going to use Red Heart Super Saver and I'm using the color Perfect Pink. This is 706. It's just a number four medium weight yarn and I'm using a size I9 5.5 millimeter hook. Go ahead and grab your yarn and grab your hook and I'll be right back to get this quick easy project started. So I already have my yarn attached to my hook and I'm going to chain three loosely. Yarn over the hook, pull it through, that's one. Yarn over, pull it through, that's two. Yarn over, pull it through, that's three. We're going to skip those first two chain and we're going to slip stitch in that third chain from hook. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull it through that chain and pull it through the loop on your hook. We just created a very small ring and you may need to use your fingers or use the end of your hook when we work our first stitch to go into the center of that chain three. So to start round one we're going to put a large amount of stitches into this ring we're going to start and we're going to chain one we're going to work a single crochet in the center of the ring so take your hook find the center of your ring and once you find the center of the ring it'll open right up and it'll be easy for the rest of your stitches yarn over the hook pull it back through that ring yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You just made your first single crochet. Now I'm going to take my little end and hold it back here and work right over that. We're going to work a double crochet into this ring, yarn over the hook, insert it into the center of that ring, yarn over the hook, pull it back through that ring, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You just made a double crochet. Now we're going to work three triple crochet all in the center ring as well. Yarn over the hook twice, insert into that center of that ring, yarn over the hook, pull it back through that ring, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's how you do a triple crochet. We need to do two more triple yarn over the hook twice, insert into that same center of that same ring, and work a triple crochet. Now some people say treble, I say triple. That's just how I say it, it's the same thing. We need to make one more, yarn over the hook twice, insert into the center of that ring, and work your triple crochet. And you can see that your little opening in that ring is a lot easier to work in once you do one or two stitches. Now you're going to constantly have to pull these stitches back. So now we're going to work four double crochet in our ring. Yarn over the hook, insert into that ring, and work your first double crochet. 
that's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that ring, and make a second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert back in that same ring, and work your third double crochet. Excuse all the loud noises from the road. It's just awful the noise that this road makes by my house. We work three double crochet. We need to work one more and keep pulling those stitches over. Yarn over the hook, insert into the center of that ring, and make your fourth double crochet. Now we need to make a triple. Yarn over the hook twice, insert into the center of that ring, and work a triple crochet. And this is the center point of our heart. So right now our heart is upside down. This is the top. We're working around to that point. So now we're going to work and do the stitches we just made and we're going to work them reversed around the other side. So now we're going to work four double crochet into the ring, yarn over the hook, insert in the center of that ring, and work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same ring, and work a second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that ring, and make a double crochet. This is three. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same ring, and work a double crochet. And that is four. You need to take your stitches and you need to keep pulling them. You need to make room for all the other stitches. So now we're going to work three triple into the center of that ring. Yarn over the hook twice, insert into the center of that ring, and work a triple crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook twice, insert into the center of that ring, and work a triple crochet. That's two. I'm going to pull my stitches a little bit more. Yarn over the hook twice, insert into that same ring, and work a triple crochet, and that's three. Now we're going to work a double crochet, yarn over the hook, insert into that ring, and work a double crochet. We're going to end this round by working a single crochet in the center of our ring. Insert your hook and work a single crochet. That is the end of round one, and you can kind of see the little heart starting to form. This is the top center, then you curve around and come to our bottom point. Now with this pattern, we are not going to join, we're going to mark each round. So let me grab a stitch marker and I'll be right back. So I'm just going to use a piece of white yarn and I'm going to insert my hook right into that first single crochet stitch here. So just insert your hook into that first single crochet and either put a stitch marker or a small piece of yarn. So now what we're going to do for round two is we're going to single crochet two together. You're going to insert your hook into that same beginning single crochet where your stitch marker is. Insert your hook into that stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it back through that stitch. Find your next stitch over here. You can tell by the top where it has the teardrop. Insert your hook into that next stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull it through. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So what you just did was you took two stitches and turned it into one. So now we're going to work two half double crochet into the same stitch that we just worked. Now we worked in two stitches, but we're going right over here in the same stitch that the last stitch was worked. So that last stitch that was worked in is right there. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a half double crochet, and that's two. We're going to work three double crochet in each of the next two stitches. 
yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert it in the same stitch, and work a double crochet. That's two. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a double crochet. That's three. So we need to do that one more time. We're going to work three double crochet into this next stitch, yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, work a double crochet. That's two. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a double crochet. And that's three. Now we're going to work one double crochet and one half double crochet into this next stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into the same stitch, and work a half double crochet. Now we're going to work one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a half double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert it into the next stitch, work a half double crochet. That's two. Yarn over the hook, insert it into the next stitch, work a half double crochet. That's three. Yarn over the hook, insert it into the next stitch, and work a half double crochet. And that's four. So now we're going to work in the next stitch, and this will be the bottom point of our heart. We're going to work one half double crochet, one double crochet, and one half double crochet all in this next stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that next stitch, and work a half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a half double crochet. Our point of our heart is made. So we're down at that bottom point. Now we're going to work the same stitches that we made going down. We're going to reverse it and work it back up the other side. So now we're going to work one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a half double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a half double crochet. That's two. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, work a half double crochet. That's three. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, work a half double crochet, and that's four. Now we're going to work one half double crochet and one double crochet into this next stitch. So yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a double crochet. You're going to work three double crochet in each of these next two stitches. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a double crochet. That's two. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a double crochet. That's three. We need to do that one more time. We're going to work three double crochet into this next stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, work a double crochet. That's two. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a double crochet, and that's three. Now we're going to work one half double crochet into this next stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert into that stitch, and work a half double crochet. 
we're going to single crochet two together and we're going to start by working in the same stitch as the last stitch made. So yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch that you worked your last stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it back through that stitch, you have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. So we're over to the end of round two and this is our beginning stitch. So if you wanted to stop here and just make the small mini heart, then you would insert your hook into this first stitch and you would slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook then you would fasten off. Now if you're going to sew these on to something then make sure you leave kind of a long sewing length so you don't have to tie on another strand of yarn. Now I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to continue. I'm going to bring my stitch marker up to that first stitch and then we will start round three and this makes the medium size heart. So if you want to make the medium size heart and work that extra round, we do not join our rounds. We just continue working around. So to start round three, we're going to start and we're going to single crochet two together and we're going to do that twice. So insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over and pull it through that stitch. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull it through the stitch. You have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You just single crochet two together. Now we need to do that one more time. Insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over and pull it through the stitch. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull it through the stitch. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to take my hook out and then I'm going to come over here and move my stitch marker up. That way I know where my first stitch starts. I'm going to tighten back up. Now we're going to work two half double crochet in the same stitch as the last stitch work. So we just work this last stitch here in this stitch so now we need to work two half double crochet into the same stitch yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch you just worked, and work a half double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a half double crochet, and that's two. We're going to work two half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a half double crochet. That's one yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a half double crochet. That is one set made. We need to do it two more times. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work a half double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a half double crochet, and that's two. Our second set is made. We need to make a set three sets total, so we need to do it one more time. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a half double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a half double crochet. That's two, and our three sets are made. Now we're going to work a half double crochet into the next stitch and two half double crochet into the next stitch and we need to do that a total of four times. So yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch and work a half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch and work two half double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch and work your second half double crochet. That's our first set. We need a total of four. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work one half double crochet. 
yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work two half double crochet. There's one, yarn over, insert into that same stitch, and work your second half double crochet. We have two sets made. We need to do it two more times for a total of four. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work one half double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, and work two half double crochets. There's one, yarn over, insert into that same stitch, and work a half double crochet for two. We made three sets, we need to make one more. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work one half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work two half double crochets. There's one, yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a half double crochet. We're going to work one half double crochet into this next stitch, yarn over the hook, insert into that stitch, and work a half double crochet. Now we're down to our point, and we're going to work our center point here, and we're going to work two half double crochet, one double crochet, and two half double crochet all into this next stitch. So yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a half double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a half double crochet. That's two. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a double crochet. Just going to pull my stitches a little bit over. Now we're going to work two half double crochet all in that same stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a half double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a half double crochet. Now we're going to repeat what we worked coming down this side of our heart to the point, and we're going to reverse and work in the opposite direction on the other side of our heart. So to start up the other side, you gotta make sure that you pull these back and you get into this first stitch right here. So we're going to work one half double crochet into this next stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a half double crochet. Now we're going to work two half double crochet into this next stitch and one du half double crochet into the next stitch and we need to do that four times. So yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch and you're going to work two half double crochets. There's one, yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch and work a second half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work a half double crochet. We just worked our first set of four. We need to do that three more times. Yarn over the hook, insert it into the next stitch, and work two half double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work the second half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a half double crochet. Your second set is finished. We need to do that two more times for a total of four sets. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work two half double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work one half double crochet. Our third set is finished, and we need to do that one more time. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work two half double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a second half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into the next stitch, and work just one half double crochet. Our four sets are finished. 
So now we're going to work two half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work two half double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work your second half double crochet. We need to do that two more times. Yarn over the hook, insert it into the next stitch, and work two half double crochets. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert it in that same stitch, and work your second half double crochet. We have two sets made. We need to do it one more time for three. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a half double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same stitch, and work a half double crochet. That's two. So we just finished our three sets, and now we're getting over to the end of the round, and we're almost finished with our heart. We're going to single crochet two together, and we're going to start by going into the same stitch that we just worked in. So insert your hook into that same stitch that you worked those uh, two half double crochet in, yarn over the hook, and pull it through that stitch. Insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, pull it through that stitch. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over the hook, and pull it through all three loops on your hook. Now we need to single crochet two together one more time. We're going to go into the next stitch. You're going to come over and insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, pull it through that stitch, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through that stitch. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Our heart is finished and now we're going to join by inserting our hook into that first stitch where your stitch marker is. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. And then you're just going to fasten off and again if you're going to sew these onto something then leave a little bit longer sewing length so you can sew that right around and you don't have to join another piece of yarn. So this is our heart and that wasn't so bad. Just two rounds for the little heart. Let me zoom out a little bit. It's just two rounds for that little heart and you can make them in all different colors and these would be pretty like if you made a solid white baby afghan and you just sewed these around either on the top the bottom or all four sides and then you got the little bit bigger hearts you can actually embroider these on uh, a pot holder just give it a little bit of a 3d effect all kinds of possibilities for these little hearts so thank you everybody for stopping by and reviewing this video on how to make the small and medium size heart. This is a free pattern and it is available on my website www.creativegrandma.net. I'll put the link in the description box. Sometimes when I put these links in there they don't work so uh, just get on the website. Uh, this will be under the shop button if you click on patterns and then you can scroll down and we do have other free patterns on the website as well so you can just review all the patterns and this will be pattern number 548. Thank you everybody for stopping by. Please make sure you hit that like button and if you're not a subscriber please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our crochet fun here at Creative Grandma. Happy crocheting everyone!